voice you heard back in, uh, it was like uh, December, right? You were in town or January? January? Yeah, we had an ice storm. January, year, yeah, yeah uh, ice storm. And you, well, look, I went to the show. It was, it was like my own personal show. It was fantastic. I know. Yeah, yeah, there was nobody there. <laughs> Make me laugh, Greg. Go ahead. <laughs> and I'll have another drink, please. <laughs> yeah, I was like, hey, McGraw, have you heard this one before? Yeah. You gotta be kidding! Me. It's really gonna snow. It's man. really gonna snow. It's, I'll it's see really you later. Snow. All right, yeah. where uh, Greg Warren, St. Louis uh, native, moved back home, but uh, still doing a lot of shows. You're gonna be at Fairview Heights this weekend. Yeah, at a place called Hey Guys. Yeah, is that new or is that because there are? I think it's been there for a little there. while. Yeah, I haven't been over to. The, I haven't done comedy on the east side in uh, like ten years. So. Uh, is that the, cause there's one on like, like 157 over there. There's that old funny bone over there. Is that what that was? That's not or? there anymore. Okay. Yeah. This is, I don't know where it is. I should do a little more research, but it's, it's, it's called <laughs> Hey Guys Comedy Club. It's in Fairview Heights and I'm there Friday and Saturday. And I, I put this thing on Facebook. This is like, I put like a dumb joke on Facebook. Yeah, and, okay. uh, so I put something like, Hey, St. Louis head East this weekend. Right. And then, you know, I put Fairview, blah, blah, blah. And then yeah. at the bottom I put PS. If anybody thought that they were uh, going to see that band that sings Save My Life, I'm going down for the last time. I apologize because the, the band's name is, is Head East. Oh, okay. That, that sings that. It's a really stupid joke. Yes. But I like to put stupid jokes on Facebook. Of course, somebody at the bottom goes, hey, man, the name of that band is Head East. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was kind of... That was kind of the joke, actually. Uh, I know it's a stupid joke, but <laughs> uh, so are you? So since the last time you were here, did you make a run? Were you out traveling? And you're back yeah, now. Yeah, or? yeah, yeah. I've been all over, man. Yeah, I, yeah. I've been on, I've been on the road like the whole year. Um, I was in Indiana uh, a little while ago, and they had the uh, they had the uh, national FFA convention. Uh, is future, that Family Farmers of America? Future Farmers of America. There's fifty thousand farmer kids in in the city 2000 of them at my hotel and they're they're the have you ever been around ffa kids they're the nicest kids in the world but if you have 2000 of any group in your hotel you're gonna hate every member of that group you know like they clog up the hotel like i had to wait 15 minutes every day for the elevator i'm, I'm just, i did not have a good attitude i'm like it's not a grain elevator what are you guys unloading wheat up there I came, I came downstairs. I wanted to go to Starbucks in the hotel. I was so excited. They had one in the hotel. I come downstairs. 35 farmer kids in line to get their coffee. And you know how long it takes 35 farmer kids to get their coffee? I get, in my mind, longer than 35 normal kids because they're farmers. They've never been to a Starbucks before. I'm like, they, they don't make corn lattes up there, Jedediah. <laughs> Bean picker, move it along. Ladies and gentlemen, the man who hates farmers, Greg I, I don't, Warren. I don't. It's going to be at Hey Guys Comedy <laughs> here's, Club. Here's, this the, here's the thing. Okay, so I'm, 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 I'm like, I have a bad attitude. I'm complaining the whole time about these farmers. And then that night, there's this girl at the show. She starts, she's like a drunk 24 year old girl. She's complaining about it. She's like, they ruined my birthday. I'm like, who? I'm like, those farmer kids ruined my birthday. I want to go to my favorite restaurant, and it was full of those dumb farmer kids, and I couldn't get in. I'm like, oh no. That's what I sound like. I, I, I need to. It's changed my life, McGraw. It's it's an important lesson. If you find that you have a similar complaint to that of a 24 year old drunk girl, you need to take a hard look at the way you're living your you life. Need you need to take a look in the mirror. Now, whenever I complain about something, I say it out loud. Then I say it out loud in the voice of a 24 year old drunk girl. Like the valet guy's taking forever. The valet guy is taking forever, and it's my birthday. See, I'm, I'm wrong on that one. All I right. Need, I need to improve. Fair enough. Right? Now, uh, last time you were here, I didn't ask you about this. You Have you you've been on Conan's show? No. Uh, I've been on Seth's show. Seth Rogan's show. Uh, uh, Seth, Seth uh, Myers. Myers. My, yeah, Seth yeah. Myers' show, not uh, Seth Rogan's show. Yeah. Uh, uh, all right. And, and now, were you on Letterman? Ferguson and and for, Craig, Craig Ferguson. Ferguson like four times, and okay. then... Uh, my buddy Billy Gardell uh, guest hosted it. He's a guy from Mike and Molly, and I, yeah. did, it, I did it on that yeah. when they were, like, trying to figure out who the next host was. Right. Yeah. So when you go on there, do you have to have your stuff pre-approved oh or sort God, of signed yeah. off on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? It's just like this show. You know, I got <laughs> to submit. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, um, you, you got you to gotta actually, like, type out a transcript. Uh, really? And, and sometimes, like... Okay, here's a joke I'll tell you that, that on Seth that didn't get through. And it's a perfectly fine joke. Just right. stick with me because it's not what you think it is. Okay. But I told the I was living in New York at the time. And I said, you know, I, I live in New York. My neighbors are Muslim. And it, I'm learning a lot about their culture. I learned this. Muslim women are not supposed to make eye contact with unfamiliar men. Okay. So, like, my neighbor, when we pass in the hallway, she doesn't look at me. But, I mean, she really doesn't look at me. Like, she gives it a little bit of extra effort. I think it's her way of saying, hey... 
even if I wasn't Muslim, I wouldn't look at you. You know, <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't realize, but a lot of the girls at Kirkwood High School when I was there were were Muslim. <laughs> I guess <laughs> so. It's not offensive. It's like all on me. But right. they, it, like they were like they approved the set, and then I said it, and they're like. Not nah, too hot of a topic. Really? Can't, no, can't say anything. And I'm like, it kind of takes sucks all the fun out of doing the the of the bit, right? Yeah, that, okay, that's an NBC show, right? Yeah. And then I did Last Comic Standing, like I don't know, about six months later, and I just thought, all right, I'm gonna just sneak that joke in. They were right. like, yeah, that's fine, man. <laughs> like, it's so <laughs> random what they. Well, like. and 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 also, I mean, it's it's sort of changed over now. I mean, Carson and Letterman were kind of, um, you know, sort of down the road, middle of the line, middle of America. But now Colbert's taking it to all sorts of political yeah, sides. Yeah, he's more of a, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a very different uh, thing. Different animal. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and he's doing stand-up, actually. He's probably doing more stand-up than a lot of people, actually. You mean uh, on the show? Colbert. Is, yeah, is, yeah, yeah, yeah. His monologue. Is br no, he's bringing comics. Oh, yeah. yeah well, bringing, good, good. Yeah. They should do more Conan's of that. Conan's so. done a nice job of that. He's always brought folks on and yeah. letterman towards the end was doing it a lot right um jay didn't bring a ton on. yeah i wish they would i mean that's sort of half the fun that's where you sort of meet new guys and stuff i know i yeah i, I mean ferguson was really cool man yeah. that was like uh, do you get a gift going on at the show well you know like yeah i think uh <laughs> <laughs> i think i but not like you know you I get, like a mug you yeah get like i got a, a mug I, get, I got a seth meyers mug in fact i drank some tea out of it yesterday <laughs> Uh, and some T-shirts, and then one time I was doing Ferguson, and uh, and then I got like a bottle of booze, like nice. a, a giant bottle of booze. And my friend Henry was there, and we were joking like like if the thing went bad, uh, I'd be like, well, at least I got that bottle of booze. And Henry, who's a big drinker, would be like, well, I'd say uh, it's actually a half a bottle of booze. Right? <laughs> <laughs> he was hanging out in the green room. Not a full, yeah, not a full yeah, bottle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, Seth was really cool though. Like he went out. I did it. During Christmas, so it's like rock center and it's all the, sure. know, the yeah. ice rink and all that stuff and yeah. the tree. And he went out like to the crowd and, and basically he's like, You guys, you need to laugh at this. <laughs> like he was like, right. Hey, you know, we have a comedian coming up uh, on the next segment and I want comedians to be on the show and I want comedians to enjoy being on the show. So you guys make sure you support. It was like, right. It was really, really cool. That's really cool. All right, cool. All right. So it's uh, Hey Guys Comedy Club. I'll tell you where it is, but I don't know where it is. And Greg it's Warren, in Illinois. who's going to be there, <laughs> knows it's in Fairview Heights, East Illinois, of somewhere. the Mississippi River. Uh, Friday and Saturday nights? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And now now you just ruined Saturday. I, <laughs> Saturday night. Seriously? It's going to snow? <laughs> Saturday night. Bring your chains. Chains uh, you are available <laughs> in Southern <laughs> this Illinois. Is so it bad. Said, look, it says right there snow on Saturday. Now, does that mean? that it's it's gonna snow a lot or a little bit i don't know it's gonna snow this is terrible it's gonna snow but you know what what a great thing to do to go out and laugh at a snowstorm yeah, yeah. it's 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 st louis it's gonna be like blustery the last ways. one was not an actual storm by the way there but they had a name for it though yeah yeah they it, called it the jupiter storm or something you, there, which it didn't exist i know it, it, wasn't it, there. Never, it never showed it was, up there was, it wasn't there <laughs> Uh, I I had a good time. That's all I care yeah, about. Yeah, man. You, he, he did make it out. It man. was nice. It was a fun time. Uh, Greg Warren, St. Louis native, um, nationally known comic, uh, based here out of St. Louis. He's doing a show. Hey, guys, Friday and Saturday, Fairview Heights, Illinois. Greg, thanks for coming in. It's always good to see you, man. 918 here. Big